Today, while I was checking my emails, I got a very specific question that I've gotten before, but never really addressed in a video. That question was about mixing ammo in your magazines, mixing your carry ammo. Now that means, you know, choosing different types of ammo, like alternating between a specialty ammo and a more general purpose ammo in your magazine that you carry every day with you in your carry gun, or maybe uh, alternating between hollow points and full metal jackets. You know, that way they say, well, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You have a man stopper, you have a barrier penetrator, then you have another man stopper or whatever order you want to put them in. Some people will load five of one and five of the other or, you know, two of one and two of the other, etc. They just there's all kinds of combinations you can do. The question is, do I think that's a good idea? Well, you know, I got no problem with it. Uh, whatever floats your boat, no skin off my back. The fact you're carrying a gun means you're going to be prepared for 99% of the things that could ever go wrong anyway. Uh, the rest of it's just fluff. So, you know, do what you want to do. The only real problem I would have with that, you know, choosing more specialty rounds and then alternating in your magazines with those, is if that prevented you from choosing what is the best all-around carry ammo for your everyday carry gun. Because I think that's what everyone should be carrying in their carry gun, the best all-around ammo. The ammo that's, you know, good at penetration, good at hard barriers, good at expansion, etc. It's good at almost anything you might face because you don't know what that first shot is going to need to be. So if you alternate rounds in your magazine or put them in different places in your magazine, you don't get to choose while you're loading that what kind of situation you're going to face. You might need your first round to be able to penetrate glass. If you've got a lightweight hollow point in there, probably not going to happen. If the first one round or two rounds, you've got to fire more rounds. And you can't always guarantee you're going to get to fire more rounds if the first one isn't effective. So you should walk around every day with the best overall round in your gun that you can choose for that caliber. In fact, what I would do is load my everyday carry gun with that best all-around caliber, then I'd carry an extra magazine or two with more specialty ammo in it. Maybe load one magazine with what you consider more of a man-stopper round, something that fragments, something that's got a better chance of hitting organs or arteries. And then maybe carry a magazine loaded with full metal jacket for when you need that full metal jacket round, when you need that extra hard barrier penetration, etc. That way, you've got the best overall round in your gun. It's going to do good at everything. But then, if you get in a situation where you found cover and you can change magazines, you can switch to the round that's more specific for that event. Now, since I carry a revolver, this is real easy for me to do. I carry my Kiapa Rhino, so I carry a speed loader case. In the Kiapa Rhino, I carry what I consider to be the best overall round for this 4-inch barrel. In my case, that's the 175-grain Hornady Critical Duty. I just find this to be the best overall round for self-defense. Out of the four inch barrel of the Rhino, it works really well. It gets enough velocity to expand well, it penetrates well, it's just an overall good round. It's good and heavy, moving really fast, it exits your barrel at about 1,050 feet per second, so it's a good, powerful round. It does really well in soft tissue, expands really well in the body, but it also does really well in hard barriers because it is a bonded bullet. They use a proprietary system to bond their bullets and it makes it a very good hard barrier bullet. In fact, in most of the FBI tests, this bullet through most of the stuff like plywood and tin and metal sheeting and drywall, etc., maintains over 91% of its mass, up to 97% of its mass through hard barriers, which is excellent for a hollow point. Even through glass, it maintains about three quarters of its weight. It basically loses its pedals and the rest of the bullet does just fine, which is really good for a hollow point bullet. It's about as close to hard barrier penetration as you're going to get to a hard cast bullet while still having that expanding bullet for soft material. Plus, if you ever look at their bullets, the way they have that little crimping done around there, they have a little textured crimping area. That is great for revolvers because then you don't have to worry about uh, bullet creep or jumping the crimp on these. They actually work really well in revolvers. So that's what I carry in my everyday carry gun, but in my carry pouch I have more of that, but I also have two other rounds available. One of those is the Barnes TAC XPD. These are 140 grain bullets. These are great man stoppers. They're a solid brass projectile. They do great in soft tissue, expand very well out of a 40 caliber 4 inch barrel. So these are a great up close and personal man to man round. So that's what I carry these for. And just in case I need a little extra penetration, I carry these 115 grain Underwood Extreme Defenders. These are great, even against hard barriers. Even though they're a light bullet, they go through hard barriers very well, and they penetrate through bodies really, really well, sometimes too good. These would be great if someone was wearing some sort of light protective gear, something you had to shoot through, or heavy clothing. This is what I'd go to for that, so that's why I carry these. 
So like I say, having options is never a bad thing. I always wonder if I'm pinned down somewhere, like in a mall or something, and there's an active shooter, do I want to have as many options with me as possible? Of course I do. That's why I carry different ammos. So if you want to do it in your gun, I got nothing to say about that. Like I say, though, the only thing I would suggest is carry the different ammos in different magazines. Don't mix them in your one magazine. But if you're only going to carry one magazine, go ahead and mix them. But make sure you mix them as much as possible, because like I say, you're never going to know what that first bullet needs to do. So, you know, whatever the floats your boat, no skin. Ah, and alternating them prevents you from uh, more specialty rounds backwards and forth. Ah, choosing what would be the best all around carry round for your uh, metal sheeting, etc. It maintains uh, a great bullet out of a four inch barrel. Ah, it is bonded in a special process they use. It, <coughs> ah, they use to bond their jackets. It expands. Ah. Overall round you can find. Could you stop jingling silverware in there? You're clanging your spoon around. Come over here and shut it. I can't move.